Hello friends, we've seen how to build and change infrastructure. Before moving on to other concepts, we will see two things. First, how to destroy and recreate a even resource. Then how to completely destroy your Terraform managed infrastructure. Sometimes you want to recreate a resource for some reason. You can remove it from the configuration file, apply change to destroy it, then add it back to the conf and apply again to provision it. Or you can simply taint the resource. A tainted resource will be destroyed and recreated during the next apply. To do so, just type in Terraform taint, then type the name of the resource as you named it in your conf. We want to taint the VM, that is the resource type, and this is the resource name. So let's copy the resource type and head back to the terminal and paste it. After this, add the resource name and hit enter. And just like that, the resource has been marked as tamed. Now to have it recreated, we should type enter from apply and answer yes. This should take something like 20 seconds. Give it a moment and wait. Okay, now the resource has been destroyed and recreated. What if you want to remove it completely? Because even if destroying your infrastructure is a rare event in production, when in development, testing or staging, you often spin up resources then destroy them when done. Resources can be destroyed by removing them from the configuration and applying with Terraform Apply. You can also use Terraform Destroy which is similar to Terraform Apply but acts as if you removed all resources from the configuration. Try removing the network block from the configuration and plan. It does not work. Indeed, the VM and the subnet are using it. You need to destroy them first. So put back the network and remove the VM block instead and try again. Now it's gone, just like that. Now try the terraform destroy command. So answer yes to execute this plan and destroy the remaining resources. Notice that the subnet is being destroyed before the network. That's because Terraform determines the order in which things must be destroyed. GCP won't allow a VPC network to be deleted if there are still resources in it. So Terraform waits until the instance is destroyed before destroying the network. When performing operations, Terraform creates a dependency graph to determine the correct order of operations. In more complicated cases with multiple resources, Terraform will perform multiple operations in the same time when it's safe to do so. Now all resources are destroyed and this concludes this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.